I only do five years in advance, and so um, obviously it's not guaranteed, but when I think about stopping um, the sport that I've been in for so long, um, it definitely there's part of me that's going to miss it, um, but I do know that I have the skills that I've learned from my sport. Um, you're just swimming, mine is diving, and so um, diving has helped me grow up to who I am today, and I know that because of that, I'm able to look forward on different goals, different avenues, and Ultimately, um, it's just a sport, it's something that we do for fun. And when we hold it up like this, it becomes our um, something that we worship. And so um, when we bring it down to here, it gets a little easier. But kind of a, a funny story. Uh, when I first got this medal and, and I came home from uh, the Olympic Games, my coach and I had this little policy. It's like a open hand policy. So I drove up to his house, and he has a little five-year-old kid, and he had a bungee swinging it around, and they went up to my car and smacked it. And I looked at my car and said, dude, that's not okay. Like, you can't have your kid swinging a hidden car to me. This smells like this to me. Go, oh. And I gave him this medal, and he was showing the little neighbor kids, and they dropped it on a cement. And he, like, looked straight at me, and I smelled like this. I was just, yeah, just going to go away. But, I mean, that's how I look at my career. So it's something that I do, and it's something that I love to do. And so... Um, if I want to stay involved, then I, I will, but um, you can always do it. <coughs>